selectman's meeting on August 6th. Rick, you had some stuff you wanted to bring up? Yes. Um, one thing is that I want people to know that there is go the meeting that I thought was originally going to be on um, August 23rd is for the Hampton Beach Area Commission to do the final um, voting for exactly what's going to happen on the project that's been talked about for the last three years. Um, <clears throat> you know, this is after we've had all the input for people back in uh, earlier, when was that, May, I believe. <clears throat> yeah. um, so now it's been kicked around and everything's been taken in consideration and now the final uh, decisions are going to be made and they are going to be made August 6th. S uh, not August 6th, That's August 16th. Um, and uh, it is a public meeting and people are invited to the meeting. It's going to be at the uh, beach fire station on the second floor. The um, village district has uh, uh, offered to have some parking in the village parking lot so that people don't have to pay uh, for parking, which I don't think it's fair to have a, uh, a public meeting where we're looking for people to be interested in seeing how it all works out to have to go down there and pay. Uh, so I'm going to ask if the town is willing to, if there's any people from the town or from the uh, beach area that want to come, if they, they also, if we can provide some parking spaces in the town parking lot. Um, so I want to bring that up. Uh, so Rick, if they had a, a town sticker, would that be... Or, or is it anybody that's in the Well, beach? I don't know about a town sticker because everyone's invited to this meeting, whether they actually, uh, you know, they yeah, could yeah, be resident. residents that live in another town that maybe they don't have a parking sticker. Okay. What time is the meeting? 7 o'clock? The meeting's at 6 o'clock, which is important because most of the meetings are at 7 o'clock. So this meeting is at 6 o'clock, okay. and people will be able to uh, speak at public comment at the beginning of the meeting. So anyone that um, has something important to do that night, you can always go and uh, say what you want. Um, you know, put your opinion out there for the different sections. It's broken into di different sections. And uh, I'm not really sure how people will get a chance to look at the, uh, um, you know, the minutes of the meeting from the last meeting. But when you look at them, it breaks down every section and whether we're going to uh, vote on it in sections or whatever, I'm not really sure exactly what the state's going to provide. But people can comment on all the different sections how they feel. So if we took the north part of that parking lot mm -hmm. and yeah. said from 5 to 8 of any town resident or person going to the meeting yeah. could use that, that part of Maybe the parking lot. Maybe the fence or something. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying that I said the north part so they could still have the south part open. And then if, if, you know, once once the meeting starts, people aren't going to come in after that, but they're going to get yeah. there when it is. So if they start, allow them to park on that north side. I think we could do something like that, I would think. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So would that be a motion? Yeah, I'll make that motion that we allow some parking there I'll on the town parking lot. I'll second that motion. Yes, sir. Just a clarification question. There is a show that night. How many spots do you want reserved during that period if it becomes necessary? Uh, I would say if we reserved at least 50 spaces. Five zero. Five yeah, zero. Maybe maybe less. Tw 20. 20. Okay. Very good. All right. I was just trying to. Because there's going to be some from the t parking. Okay. From All right. The other so. Side. All right. 20 space. We'll reserve 20 spaces along the fence or in that area. You may have some people that are already parked there during the day, but 20 spaces. We'll put cones in, allow the people to spot, park there to go to the meeting. So all those in favor? Unanimous. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Yeah. And I think Regina wanted to bring something up, yep. and I'm going to add to it. Yeah, I had early this morning uh, several complaints about the trash. I know at least from 1st Street to 18th Street on the east side was was not picked up last night. No, I, I think it did eventually get picked up today, but, you know, it had blown around and things over the night, and many residents down in that area were upset. And then, of course, it came up about everything that happened down on the 4th of July that all got re 
brought up again today. So I just, I had heard earlier this morning, I came down, I left town meeting right away, and then actually I saw Rick right after, and I think he had some similar types of complaints. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, one thing that I wanted to comment was I was talking um, with Nancy Stiles earlier this week, and um, she mentioned about the possibility of, um, you know, about maybe a meeting um, with the Board of Selectmen and the state. Um, you know, like I suggested, we definitely should meet. I don't, I know that there has never really since I have been here for the last 14 years there's never really been a meeting with all the Board of Selectmen and the state. She mentions they don't want to meet on television um, <laughs> which you know maybe that's the part I'm not really sure of and I thought maybe Mark would have some suggestions. Uh, is it possible where this uh, you know there has been a lawsuit that's been um, uh, postponed or whatever but there's still a potential possibility of a lawsuit in the future is it possible for us to meet with them in a closed session I uh, yes I, I think especially where counsel are involved yeah that that's a possibility yeah so I would like to make a motion that um, the board of selectmen off uh, offer them a chance to come and meet with us uh, you know, at a time to be determined. I'll second that motion. Just who? Uh, whoever, who? Nancy, Nancy was the one that I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, maybe I'm just wondering which department. Well, I assume it's the DOT or whoever, State whoever Park. wants to come. State Park. So it's it's trash. I mean, I yeah. think we definitely okay. need to meet with them. But I, I, the more the better. Yeah. Maybe uh, Chris and Nunu would like to come. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, let's invite them all. Whoever well, we would like to come. we have a motion and a second, so. Is there any discussion on the motion and second? Um, is there going to be a secretary or someone taking notes and minutes of this meeting if it's non-public? I would assume somebody has, we can have somebody take notes or? Well, to have a record of what takes place. I'm sure Fred can take care of that. Well, I'm um, sure somebody's here to take care of that problem. Yeah. I'd just like to want, although it's not quite you know, I would prefer it in public, but I think if they're willing to sit down with the entire Board of Selectmen, whoever it is that decides they want to come, I think we need to take that opportunity to do it. Yeah, because and I would like to say, too, that uh, the town is, is, is in the position to offer help, and to be truthful, people wonder why hasn't the town offered uh, to help when there were a problem on the 4th of July. The reason why they don't offer any help is because there is no discussion. There's been no discussion in the past, yep. There, and I mean the, all of the past. And I think for things to get done, there needs to be some discussion, and I think this is a good time to open these channels. I, I didn't have a chance to finish my uh, comment. Uh, I forwarded to all of you uh, about two weeks ago um, an email that a nice friend of mine had forwarded to me showing uh, information on the state revenue. Did all of you get that? It showed the uh, huge amount of revenue that the state uh, gets annually, liquor taxes, all, all sorts of things. If the state of New Hampshire can't pay and find the funding and find the manpower to keep their own beach clean. We remember when we had a town resident running the beach and the beach was clean and we never had all these problems. Why are these individuals unable to muster enough um, modern uh, functioning and keep their own beach clean? Well, there's, I'm, I'm not ridiculous. looking for this meeting to be confrontational. Uh, uh, confrontational. Absolutely. I'm looking for that when things do come up, and everybody knows there is, this is a sort of a different time. There is, uh, almost everyone has a lack of employees. Uh, and, you know, maybe they can make, uh, you know, better plans in the future. I'm sure that must be what they're trying to do. Uh, these are things that we can discuss. And uh, this should be a good meeting, not a confrontational meeting. And that's what I'd like to see happen. And I would like to say that I would like to, uh, for Mr. Welch to be in contact with Nancy Stiles 
and she'll have a suggestion of who should come to this meeting. And uh, one reason why she's a good source, um, well, she was uh, the senator at one time, um, and she's still the senator, uh, but she's also the head of the Hampton Beach Area Commission. And I would like to see that she would be at the meeting also. Mr. Chairman, what, what would happen if we let trash pile up to the ceiling or whatever on Route 1? We wouldn't. And, and we wouldn't. And, well, that's, that's, and we wouldn't. And we don't. Well, I so think let's that's, try to work at this at I a productive meeting, relevant. not a non-productive. I just wanted to offer one and get advance of 4th of July this year after this issue popped up before. Mm -hmm. Just to be clear, we did have conversations with the folks from Parks, and our team did go out and do trash. In fact, the director and his team were out on the 4th of July right. picking up trash. Correct. So we did offer, we did share. Our, our team was out there. It's not customarily something we do. Mm -hmm. We did have conversations just because we all made the determination that we weren't going to allow that to occur. We wanted a clean beach. And Chris and his team were out there picking up trash. So we did have some discussions and it's more right. necessary no question yeah. we so would like we'll a better be climate in the future absolutely i think we all want that i i'm, I'm totally in agreement that we all want that so we, with your your motion we have a motion to um meet have a meeting with des i'm uh, not des but parks definitely state parks yeah, state parks state of and whatever ones that we need to have to come with and i and i do agree probably asking former senator styles if she could assist us with this would be great so that's the motion that was seconded all those in favor four I one. agree with the intent but I, I am opposed to non-public okay let them face the public anything else no. we have a meet we have a motion to go into non-public under RSA 91 a colon three <laughs> Roman two small a small C small e uh, personnel reputation and litigation also move mr. chairman move seconded by all those in favor roll aye. call aye aye. Aye. aye aye thank you very much channel 22